In the warm evening light of Austin, Texas, a group of family and friends gathered to honor Mrs. Omolewa Fawsat or Lao Shebikon, the Iyalo Day of Ekpe. The small and heartfelt ceremony brought together people from near and far to say their final goodbyes. A beautiful song filled the air, a tribute to Mama, as she was lovely called. The song captured the love and respect everyone felt for her. Mrs. Omolewa Fawsat or Lao Shebikon was a mother of four. Our children stood together and spoke about how thankful they were to have her as their mother. She was an amazing mother who lived up to her name, Omolewa, which means your children are your beauty and glory, said her eldest daughter, Mrs. Bolanle or Lao Shebikon. An amazing mother who lived the essence of her name. Her name is Omolewa, which means your children are your beauty and your glory. And she lived her life working and serving her children. What we have to learn is even in the darkest and deepest, moment, deepest moments of our lives, we have to learn how to encourage ourselves. Because when I got up this morning, I didn't put my clothes on, my cologne on, to impress anybody else other than myself. Because I heard you all say your mother wasn't in competition with nobody but herself. So when I got up this morning, I looked in the mirror and said, good morning, you good looking thing. <laughs> A second daughter, Oyiko Alakiu, added, my mom was the toughest woman I know. She handled everything so effortlessly, and that still amazed me. Hello everyone, my name is Oyintasala Alakiu. I am mommy's second daughter. Um, I'm her miracle baby. I'm her baby, she had after 14 years of waiting. Um, the, fu the fondest part of my mom that I remember is my mom had a, the biggest heart. She was the kindest, the most loving. She accommodated everyone. She was always there for her family. She was all about family. And I, I, when I think of my mom, I think of a hundred men. She was the strongest woman I know, the toughest woman I know, the most business savvy woman I know, and it was a privilege to be her daughter. And I said, oh my gosh, that is where Timo and Dayo, it probably sits. <laughs> and oh, I got that love of reading. Just knowing little facts about her, I feel like even though we weren't together in America all the time and doing the daughter-in-law, the mother-in-law thing, that you, she, she made every moment just special, just in our silence. Her rubbing my skin and me rubbing her beautiful skin. We can go on and on about the skin. But I just thank her for bringing me into this family. I'm glad that we're all here. I want to thank... You That's see good. this ground, eh? That That's has opened good. up. This ground is the same earth, eh? Hile. Yami. This land. From it, when it opens up its mouth, everything that all of us are wearing here today and we see, it all came from this ground. Food. Water, everything comes from this ground. Mm -hmm. And one day it's going to ask, you've been taking all these things from me. Mm -hmm. It's your own time to, to mm -hmm. come back. Yes. We all have this contract with this earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one day it's going to be me. 
or one day it's going to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. I tell my kids all the time, the earth is your mother. So as it has come now to take my mom, I beg you, please, for everybody here, please don't take their children before them. Amen. Everybody that is here, you, mommy, all your children, they went after you. Please do not let anybody here, let, their, let them go before their children. Amen. Amen. The first thing I want to say about my mom is this. If anyone had told my mom from the upbringing that she had, with the parents that she had, and told her, do you know one day you'll go to America? Everybody around her would have laughed so hard. Like, who gave you the audacity to even dream you'll go to America? But here she is today. She's buried in America. Wow. All four of her kids are here. Oh, gee. This lady, <laughs> there's so many things I can say about her. She's, she's just a, a G. When I asked her, I said, Mommy, hold on. How, how did you even have the audacity to dream? She said, I've been doing business since I was young. I said, what do you even do business since I was young? She said, when I was in primary school, she used to carry I don't know if Nigeria is no. You know, she used to hawk on the market, like mm -hmm. the people that you see. So she said, when she was in primary school, she would go with outside where she sells her stuff. And she would watch everybody that if God helped the person that didn't buy from her, if it was a boy or a girl, she will hunt you down and beat you up. <laughs> She's a nice person, a caring mother, a devoted auntie. It's not only me that she has helped, she has helped a lot of people. And the last time I spoke to her, she said, that, Don't worry, everything is going to be okay. And I believe her, but I don't know if it's going to be this soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Friends and grandchildren shared stories about how loving and brave she was. They spoke about her kindness and support, showing just how much she was loved by everyone. I remember the taxi, taking the wheelchair out of the taxi. I remember us, me and my other brother, Ayo, taking shifts, taking turns to take her to the restroom, change her diaper, take care of her, mm -hmm. feed her and all that. But one thing I remember is that one thing I learned from all the things I've been told about her mm -hmm. from when you guys were kids was that, was that she was an amazing person. She, she would make, she would go, she would suffer for you guys to be happy. Mm -hmm. That's, and that's an amazing thing. The ceremony included prayers. Moments of reflection, songs, and word of thanks. It was a fitting goodbye to a wonderful woman. As the sun set and cast a golden light over everyone, there was a sense of peace. The memory of Mrs. Omolewa Fausat or Lao Shebikon's love and care would live on in the heart, reminding them of our last impact on their life.